Brought to you by wikivd.com Potato The potato is a starchy tuberous crop from the perennial nightshade Solanum tuberosum. The word potato may refer either to the plant itself or to the edible tuber. In the Andes, where the species is indigenous some other closely related species are cultivated. Potatoes were introduced to Europe in the second half of the 16th century by the Spanish. Potato has become a staple food in many parts of the world, and an integral part of much of the world's food supply. It is the world's fourth largest food crop, following maize, wheat and rice. The green leaves and green skins of tubers exposed to the light are toxic. Wild potato species can be found throughout the Americas, from the United States to southern Chile. The potato was originally believed to have been domesticated independently in multiple locations. The later genetic testing of the wide variety of cultivars and wild species proved a single origin for potatoes in the area of present-day southern Peru and extreme northwestern Bolivia where they were domesticated approximately 7,000-10,000 years ago. Following millennia of selective breeding there are now over a thousand different types of potatoes. Over 99% of the presently cultivated potatoes worldwide descended from varieties that originated in the lowlands of south-central Chile, which have displaced formerly popular varieties from the Andes. However, the local importance of the potato is variable and changing rapidly. It remains an essential crop in Europe, where per capita production is still the highest in the world but the most rapid expansion over the past few decades has occurred in southern and eastern Asia. As of 2014, China led the world in potato production and together with India, produced 37% of the world's potatoes. Etymology The English word potato comes from Spanish patata. The Spanish Royal Academy says the Spanish word is a compound of the Taino batata and the Quechua word papa. The name originally referred to a type of sweet potato although the two plants are not closely related. In many of the chronicles detailing agriculture and plants no distinction is made between the two. The 16th-century English herbalist John Gerard used the terms bastard potatoes and Virginia potatoes for this species and referred to sweet potatoes as common potatoes. Potatoes are occasionally referred to as Irish potatoes or white potatoes in the United States. To distinguish them from sweet potatoes, the name spud for a small potato comes from the digging of soil prior to the planting of potatoes. The word has an unknown origin, and was originally used as a term for a short knife or dagger probably related to the Latin spada word root meaning sword, cf. Spanish espada English spade and spadroon. It subsequently transferred over to a variety of digging tools. Around 1845 the name transferred to the tuber itself. The origin of the word spud has erroneously been attributed to a 19th century activist group dedicated to keeping the potato out of Britain, calling itself the Society for the Prevention of an Unwholesome Diet. It was Mario Pay's 1949 The Story of Language that can be blamed for the word's false origin. Pay writes the potato for its part was in disrepute some centuries ago. Some Englishmen who did not fancy potatoes formed a society for the prevention of unwholesome diet. The initials of the main words in this title gave rise to spud. Like most other pre-20th century acronymic origins, this is false. Characteristics Potato plants are herbaceous perennials that grow about 60 cm high depending on variety with the leaves dying back after flowering, fruiting and tuber formation. They bear white, pink, red, blue or purple flowers with yellow stamens. In general the tubers of varieties 
with white flowers have white skins while those of varieties with colored flowers tend to have pinkish skins. Potatoes are mostly cross-pollinated by insects such as bumblebees, which carry pollen from other potato plants, though a substantial amount of self-fertilizing occurs as well. Tubers form in response to decreasing day length although this tendency has been minimized in commercial varieties. After flowering potato plants produce small green fruits that resemble green cherry tomatoes, each containing about 300 seeds. Like all parts of the plant except the tubers, the fruit contain the toxic alkaloid solanine and are therefore unsuitable for consumption. All new potato varieties are grown from seeds also called true potato seed TPS or botanical seed to distinguish it from seed tubers. New varieties grown from seed can be propagated vegetatively by planting tubers. Pieces of tubers cut to include at least one or two eyes are cuttings a practice used in greenhouses for the production of healthy seed tubers. Plants propagated from tubers are clones of the parent, whereas those propagated from seed produce a range of different varieties. Genetics There are about 5,000 potato varieties worldwide. 3,000 of them are found in the Andes alone mainly in Peru, Bolivia, Ecuador, Chile, and Colombia. They belong to 8 to 9 species depending on the taxonomic school. Apart from the 5,000 cultivated varieties there are about 200 wild species and subspecies, many of which can be crossbred with cultivated varieties. Crossbreeding has been done repeatedly to transfer resistances to certain pests and diseases from the gene pool of wild species to the gene pool of cultivated potato species. Genetically modified varieties have met public resistance in the United States and in the European Union. The major species grown worldwide is Solanum tuberosum, and modern varieties of this species are the most widely cultivated. There are also four deployed species, S. stenotimum, S. ferrejar, S. goniocalyx and S. agenuiri. There are two triploid species, S. chaucha and S. Giuseppe Suzuki. There is one pentaploid cultivated species, S. curtilobum. There are two major subspecies of Solanum tuberosum, Andagena or Andean, and tuberosum or Chilean. The Andean potato is adapted to the short day conditions prevalent in the mountainous equatorial and tropical regions. Where it originated, the Chilean potato however native to the Chiloé archipelago is adapted to the long day conditions prevalent in the higher latitude region of southern Chile. The International Potato Center based in Lima, Peru, holds an ISO-accredited collection of potato germplasm. The International Potato Genome Sequencing Consortium announced in 2009 that they had achieved a Draft sequence of the potato genome. The potato genome contains 12 chromosomes and 860 million base pairs, making it a medium sized plant genome. More than 99% of all current varieties of potatoes currently grown are direct descendants of a subspecies that once grew in the lowlands of south central Chile. Nonetheless, Genetic testing of the wide variety of cultivars and wild species affirms that all potato subspecies derive from a single origin in the area of present-day southern Peru and extreme northwestern Bolivia. Most modern potatoes grown in North America arrive through European settlement and not independently from the South American sources although at least one wild potato species Solanum fendleri is found as far north as Texas where it is used in breeding for resistance to a nematode species that attacks cultivated potatoes. A secondary center of genetic variability of the potato is Mexico, where important wild species that have been used extensively in modern breeding are found. 
such as the hexaploid Solanum demissium as a source of resistance to the devastating late blight disease. Another relative native to this region, Solanum bulbocastanum has been used to genetically engineer the potato to resist potato blight. Potatoes yield abundantly with little effort and adapt readily to diverse climates as long as the climate is cool and moist enough for the plants to gather sufficient water from the soil to form the starchy tubers. Potatoes do not keep very well in storage and are vulnerable to molds that feed on the stored tubers and quickly turn them rotten. Whereas crops such as grain can be stored for several years with a low risk of rot, the yield of calories per acre is higher than that of maize, rice, wheat or soybean. History The potato was first domesticated in the region of modern-day southern Peru and extreme northwestern Bolivia between 8000 and 5000 BC. It has since spread around the world and become a staple crop in many countries. The earliest archaeologically verified potato tuber remains have been found at the coastal site of Ancon dating to 2500 BC. The most widely cultivated variety, Solanum tuberosum tuberosum is indigenous to the Chiloé archipelago and has been cultivated by the local indigenous people since before the Spanish conquest. According to conservative estimates, the introduction of the potato was responsible for a quarter of the growth in Old World population and urbanization between 1700 and 1900. Following the Spanish conquest of the Inca Empire, the Spanish introduced the potato to Europe in the second half of the 16th century part of the Columbian Exchange. The staple was subsequently conveyed by European mariners to territories and ports throughout the world. The potato was slow to be adopted by distrustful European farmers, but soon enough it became an important food staple and field crop that played a major role in the European 19th century population boom. However, lack of genetic diversity due to the very limited number of varieties initially introduced left the crop vulnerable to disease. In 1845 a plant disease known as late blight caused by the fungus Lycomycete phytophthora infestans spread rapidly through the poorer communities of Western Ireland as well as parts of the Scottish Highlands resulting in the crop failures that led to the Great Irish Famine. Thousands of varieties still persist in the Andes however where over 100 cultivars might be found in a single valley and a dozen or more might be maintained by a single agricultural household. Production in 2014 world production of potatoes was 382 million tons, an increase of 4% over 2013 amounts, and led by China with 25% of the world total. Other major producers were India, Russia, Ukraine, and the United States. Just over two-thirds of the global production is eaten directly by humans, with the rest being fed to animals are used to produce starch. This means that the annual diet of an average global citizen in the first decade of the 21st century included about 33 kilograms of potato. However, the local importance of potato is variable and rapidly changing. It remains an essential crop in Europe, where per capita production is still the highest in the world but the most rapid expansion over the past few decades has occurred in southern and eastern Asia. The geographic shift of potato production has been away from wealthier countries toward lower-income areas of the world leading to 2008 being named as the International Year of the Potato. Nutrition Raw potato is 79% water, 17% carbohydrates, 2% protein contains negligible fat. In a 100 gram amount, raw potato provides 77 calories and is a rich source of vitamin B6 and vitamin C with no other nutrients in significant amount. When a potato is baked, 
Contents of vitamin B6 and vitamin C decline with little significant change in other nutrients. Potatoes are often broadly classified as high on the glycemic index and so are often excluded from the diets of individuals trying to follow a low-key diet. The ghee of potatoes can vary considerably depending on type origin preparation methods and with what it is consumed. Consuming reheated or cooled potatoes that were previously cooked may afford a low ghee effect. In the UK, potatoes are not considered by the NHS as counting towards the recommended daily five portions of fruit and vegetables. Comparison to other major staple foods The following table shows the nutrient content of potato and other major staple foods, each in respective raw form. Staple foods are not commonly eaten raw and are usually sprouted or cooked before eating. In sprouted and cooked form the relative nutritional and anti-nutritional contents of each of these grains may be different from the values reported in this table. Toxicity Potatoes contain toxic compounds known as glycoalkaloids, of which the most prevalent are solanine and chaconine. Solanine is also found in other plants in the family Solanaceae, which includes such plants as the deadly nightshade henbane and tobacco as well as eggplant and tomato. These compounds which protect the plant from its predators are in general concentrated in its leaves, stems, sprouts and fruits. In a summary of several studies, the glycoalkaloid content was highest in flowers and sprouts and lowest in the tube of flesh. Exposure to light physical damage and age increase glycoalkaloid content within the tuber. Cooking at high temperatures, over 170 degrees Celsius, partly destroys these compounds. The concentration of glycoalkaloid in wild potatoes suffices to produce toxic effects in humans. Glycoalkaloids may cause headaches, diarrhea, cramps and in severe cases coma and death, however, poisoning from potatoes occurs very rarely. Light exposure causes greening from chlorophyll synthesis thus giving a visual clue as to areas of the tube that may have become more toxic. However, this does not provide a definitive guide as greening and glycoalkaloid accumulation can occur independently of each other. Varieties contain different levels of glycoalkaloids. The Lenape variety was released in 1967 but was withdrawn in 1970 as it contained high levels of glycoalkaloids. Since then breeders developing new varieties test for this and sometimes have to discard an otherwise promising cultivar. Breeders try to keep glycoalkaloid levels below 200 mg per kilogram. However, when these commercial varieties turn green, they can still approach concentrations of solanine of 1,000 mg per kilogram. In normal potatoes, analysis has shown solanine levels may be as little as 3.5% of the breeder's maximum, with 7,187 mg per kilogram being found. While a normal potato has 12-20 mg per kilogram of glycoalkaloid content, a green tuber contains 250,280 mg per kilogram and green skin 1500 2200 mg per kilogram. Pigmentation Dozens of potato cultivars have been bred specifically for their colors including gold-red, and blue varieties that contain varying amounts of phytochemicals including carotenoids, for gold, yellow or polyphenols for red or blue cultivars. Carotenoid compounds include provitamin A alpha carotene and beta carotene which are converted to the essential nutrient vitamin A during digestion. Anthocyanins mainly responsible for red or blue pigmentation in potato cultivars do not have nutritional significance but are used for color variety and consumer appeal. Potatoes have been bioengineered specifically for these pigmentation traits. 
growth and cultivation. Potatoes are generally grown from seed potatoes. These are tubers specifically grown to be disease-free and provide consistent and healthy plants. To be disease-free, the areas where seed potatoes are grown are selected with care. In the USA, this restricts production of seed potatoes to only 15 states out of the 50 states that grow potatoes. These locations are selected for their cold hard winters that kill pests and long sunshine hours in the summer for optimum growth. In the UK most seed potatoes originate in Scotland in areas where westerly winds prevent aphid attack and thus prevent spread of potato virus pathogens. Potato growth has been divided into five phases. During the first phase sprouts emerge from the seed potatoes and root growth begins. During the second, photosynthesis begins as the plant develops leaves and branches. In the third phase stolons develop from lower leaf axils on the stem and grow downwards into the ground, and on these stolons new tubers develop as swellings of the stolon. This phase is often associated with flowering. Tuber formation halts when soil temperatures reach 27 C, hence potatoes are considered a cool season crop. Tuber bulking occurs during the fourth phase, when the plant begins investing the majority of its resources in its newly formed tubers. At this stage several factors are critical to yield optimal soil moisture and temperature. Soil nutrient availability and balance and resistance to pest attacks. The final phase is maturation. The plant canopy dies back, the tuber, the skins harden, and their sugars convert to starches. New tubers may arise at the soil surface. Since exposure to light leads to greening of the skins and the development of solanine growers cover such tubers. Commercial growers achieve this by piling additional soil around the base of the plant as it grows. An alternative method used by home gardeners and smaller scale growers involves covering the growing area with organic mulches such as straw or plastic sheets. Correct potato husbandry can be an arduous task in some circumstances. Good ground preparation, harrowing, plowing and rolling are always needed along with a little grace from the weather and a good source of water. Three successive plowings with associated harrowing and rolling are desirable before planting. Eliminating all root weeds is desirable in potato cultivation. In general the potatoes themselves are grown from the eyes of another potato and not from seed. Home gardeners often plant a piece of potato with two or three eyes in a hill of mound soil. Commercial growers plant potatoes as a row crop using seed tubers. Young plants are microtubers and may mound the entire row. Seed potato crops are rogue in some countries. To eliminate diseased plants are those of a different variety from the seed crop. Potatoes are sensitive to heavy frosts which damage them in the ground. Even cold weather makes potatoes more susceptible to bruising and possibly later rotting, which can quickly ruin a large stored crop. At harvest time gardeners usually dig up potatoes with a long-handled three-prong grape pie, a spading fork or a potato hook which is similar to the grape but with tines at a 90 degrees angle to the handle. In larger plots, the plow is the fastest implement for unearthing potatoes. Commercial harvesting is typically done with large potato harvesters which scoop up the plant and surrounding earth. This is transported up an apron chain consisting of steel links several feet wide, which separates some of the dirt. The chain deposits into an area where further separation occurs. Different designs use different systems at this point. The most complex designs use vine choppers and shakers along with a blower system to separate the potatoes from the plant. The result is then usually run past workers who continue to sort out plant material stones and rotten potatoes before the potatoes are continuously delivered to a wagon or truck. 
Further inspection and separation occurs when the potatoes are unloaded from the field vehicles and put into storage. Immature potatoes may be sold as new potatoes and are particularly valued for taste. These are often harvested by the home gardener or farmer by grabbling i.e. pulling out the young tubers by hand while leaving the plant in place. Potatoes are usually cured after harvest to improve skin set. Skin set is the process by which the skin of the potato becomes resistant to skinning damage. Potato tubers may be susceptible to skinning at harvest and suffer skinning damage during harvest and handling operations. Curing allows the skin to fully set and any wounds to heal. Wound healing prevents infection and water loss from the tubers during storage. Curing is normally done at relatively warm temperatures 50 to with high humidity and good gas exchange if at all possible. Storage Storage facilities need to be carefully designed to keep the potatoes alive and slow the natural process of decomposition which involves the breakdown of starch. It is crucial that the storage area is dark well ventilated and for a long-term storage maintained at temperatures near 4C for short-term storage before cooking temperatures of about 7. 2 are preferred. On the other hand temperatures below 4 degrees Celsius convert potatoes starch into sugar, which alters their taste and cooking qualities and leads to higher acrylamide levels in the cooked product. Especially in deep fried dishes, the discovery of acrylamides in starchy foods in 2002 has led to many international health concerns as they are believed to be possible carcinogens. And their occurrence in cooked foods is currently under study as a possible influence in potential health problems. Under optimum conditions, possible in commercial warehouses. Potatoes can be stored for up to 10 to 12 months. When stored in homes, the shelf life is usually only a few weeks. If potatoes develop green areas or start to sprout, these areas should be trimmed before using. Trimming appealing green areas are inadequate. To remove cop present toxins and such potatoes are no longer suitable as animal food. Commercial storage of potatoes involves several phases. Drying of surface moisture. A wound healing phase at 85% to 95% relative humidity and temperatures below 25 degrees Celsius. A staged cooling phase, a holding phase, and a reconditioning phase. During which the tubers are slowly warmed. Mechanical ventilation is used at various points during the process to prevent condensation and accumulation of carbon dioxide. Yield The world dedicated 18.6 million hectares in 2010 for potato cultivation. The average world farm yield for potato was 17.4 tons per hectare in 2010. Potato farms in the United States were the most productive in 2010 with a nationwide average of 44.3 tonnes per hectare. United Kingdom was a close second. New Zealand farmers have demonstrated some of the best commercial yields in the world, ranging between 60 and 80 tonnes per hectare. Some reporting yields of 88 tonnes potatoes per hectare. There is a big gap among various countries between high and low yields even, with the same variety of potato. Average potato yields in developed economies ranges between 38-44 tons per hectare. China and India accounted for over a third of world's production in 2010 and had yields of 14.7 and 19.9 .9 tons per hectare respectively. The yield gap between farms in developing economies and developed economies represents an opportunity loss of over 400 million tons of potato, or an amount greater than 2010 world potato production. Potato crop yields are determined by factors such as the crop breed seed age and quality crop management practices, 
and the plant environment. Improvements in one or more of these yield determinants and a closure of the yield gap can be a major boost to food supply and farmer incomes in the developing world. Varieties While there are close to 4,000 varieties of potato it has been bred into many standard or well-known varieties each of which has particular agricultural or culinary attributes. In general varieties are categorized into a few main groups such as russets, reds, whites, yellows, and purples, based on common characteristics. Around 80 varieties are commercially available in the UK, for culinary purposes. Varieties are often differentiated by their waxiness. Flowery and mealy potatoes have more starch than waxy potatoes. The distinction may also arise from variation in the comparative ratio of two potato starch compounds, amylose and amylopectin. Amylose, a long chain molecule, diffuses from the starch granule when cooked in water and lends itself to dishes where the potato is mashed. Varieties that contain a slightly higher amylopectin content a highly branched molecule help the potato retain its shape when boiled. The European Cultivated Potato Database is an online collaborative database of potato variety descriptions updated and maintained by the Scottish Agricultural Science Agency within the framework of the European Cooperative Programme for Crop Genetic Resources Networks, which is run by the International Plant Genetic Resources Institute. Genetically Engineered Potatoes Genetic research has produced several genetically modified varieties. New Leaf, owned by Monsanto Company, incorporates genes from Bacillus thuringiensis, which confers resistance to the Colorado potato beetle. New Leaf Plus is and New Leaf Y, approved by U.S. regulatory agencies. During the 1990s also include resistance to viruses. McDonald's Burger King Frito-Lay and Procter, and Monsanto published its intent to discontinue the line in March 2001. Waxy potato varieties produce two main kinds of potato starch amylose and amylopectin the latter of which is most industrially useful. The German chemical company BASF created the Amflora potato which has been modified to contain antisense against the enzyme that drives synthesis of amylose, namely granule-bound starch synthase. This resulting potato almost exclusively produces amylopectin and thus is more useful for the starch industry. In 2010 the European Commission cleared the way for Amflora to be grown in the European Union for industrial purposes only, not for food. Nevertheless, under EU rules individual countries have the right to decide whether they will allow this potato to be grown on their territory. Commercial planting of Amflora was expected in the Czech Republic and Germany in the spring of 2010 and Sweden and the Netherlands in subsequent years. Another GM potato variety developed by BASF is Fortuna, which was made resistant to late blight by adding two resistance genes BLB1 and BLB2 which originate from the Mexican wild potato Solanum bulbacastanum. In October 2011 BASF requested cultivation and marketing approval as a feed and food from the EFSA. In 2012, GMO development in Europe was stopped by BASF. In November 2014, the USDA approved a genetically modified potato developed by J.R. Simplot Company which contains genetic modifications that prevent bruising and produce less acrylamide when fried than conventional potatoes. The modifications do not cause new proteins to be made, but rather prevent proteins from being made via RNA interference. Pests 
The historically significant Phytophthora infestans remains an ongoing problem in Europe and the United States. Other potato diseases include Rhizoctonia sclerotinia black leg, powdery mildew, powdery scab, and leaf roll virus. Insects that commonly transmit potato diseases or damage the plants include the Colorado potato beetle, the potato tuber moth, the green peach aphid, the potato aphid beetle, leaf hoppers, thrips, and mites. The potato cyst nematode is a microscopic worm that thrives on the roots, thus causing the potato plants to wilt. Since its eggs can survive in the soil for several years, crop rotation is recommended. Pesticides During the crop year 2008 many of the certified organic potatoes produced in the United Kingdom and certified by the Soil Association as organic were sprayed with a copper pesticide to control potato blight. According to the Soil Association the total copper that can be applied to organic land is 6 kg per hectare per year. According to an environmental working group analysis of USDA and FDA pesticide residue tests performed from 2000 through 2008, 84% of the 2,216 tested potato samples contained detectable traces of at least one pesticide. A total of 36 unique pesticides were detected on potatoes over the 2,216 samples, though no individual sample contained more than six unique pesticide traces and the average was 1.29 detectable unique pesticide traces per sample. The average quantity of all pesticide traces found in the 2,216 samples was 1.602 ppm. While this was a very low value of pesticide residue, it was the highest amongst the 50 vegetables analyzed. Culinary Uses Potatoes are prepared in many ways, skin on a peeled hole are cut up with seasonings, or without. The only requirement involves cooking to swell the starch granules. Most potato dishes are served hot but some are first cooked then served cold notably potato salad and potato chips, crisps. Common dishes are mashed potatoes which are first boiled and then mashed with milk or yogurt and butter, whole baked potatoes, boiled or steamed potatoes, french fried potatoes or chips, cut into cubes and roasted, scalloped, diced or sliced and fried, grated into small thin strips and fried, grated and formed into dumplings rosti, or potato pancakes. Unlike many foods potatoes can also be easily cooked in a microwave oven and still retain nearly all of their nutritional value, provided they are covered in ventilated plastic wrap to prevent moisture from escaping. This method produces a meal very similar to a steamed potato, while retaining the appearance of a conventionally baked potato. Potato chunks also commonly appear as a stew ingredient. Potatoes are boiled between 10 and 25 minutes depending on size and type to become soft. Grading In the U.S. potato grading for Idaho potatoes is performed in which number? 1. Potatoes or the highest quality and number 2 are rated as lower in quality due to their appearance. Potato density assessment can be performed by floating them in brines. High-density potatoes are desirable in the production of dehydrated mashed potatoes, potato crisps, and French fries. Latin America Peruvian cuisine naturally contains the potato as a primary ingredient in many dishes, as around 3,000 varieties of this tuber are grown there. Some of the more notable dishes include boiled potato as a base for several dishes or with argy-based sauces like in papara la huoncena or a copa diced potato, for its use in soups like in cow cow or in carapulca with dried potato. Smashed condimented potato is used in cows alimna and papara lena. 
French fried potatoes are a typical ingredient in Peruvian stir-fries, including the classic dish lomo saltado. Chano is a freeze-dried potato product traditionally made by Quechua and Aymara communities of Peru and Bolivia and is known in various countries of South America, including Peru, Bolivia, Argentina and Chile. In Chile's Chiloé archipelago, potatoes are the main ingredient of many dishes including milkhouse chapaleles, curanto and chococa. In Ecuador the potato as well as being a staple with most dishes, is featured in the hearty locro de puppers a thick soup of potato squash and cheese. European cuisine In the UK potatoes form part of the traditional staple fish and chips. Roast potatoes are commonly served with a Sunday roast, and mashed potatoes form a major component of several other traditional dishes such as shepherds, pie bubble and squeak and bangers and mash. New potatoes are often cooked with mint and served with a little melted butter. The tatty scone is a popular Scottish dish containing potatoes. Colcannon is a traditional Irish food made with mashed potato, shredded kale, a cabbage, and onion. Champ is a similar dish. Box deep pancakes are eaten throughout Ireland, although associated especially with the North and in Irish diaspora communities. They are traditionally made with grated potatoes soaked to loosen the starch and mixed with flour, buttermilk and baking powder. A variant eaten and sold in Lancashire especially Liverpool is made with cooked and mashed potatoes. Brinzove Haluski is the Slovakian national dish made of a batter of flour and finely grated potatoes that is boiled to form dumplings. These are then mixed with regionally varying ingredients. In Germany, Northern and Eastern Europe, Finland, Poland, Russia, Belarus and Ukraine newly harvested, early ripening varieties are considered a special delicacy, boiled whole and served unpeeled. With dill these new potatoes are traditionally consumed with Baltic herring. Puddings made from grated potatoes are popular items of Ashkenazi, Lithuanian and Belarusian cuisine. German fries and various version of potato salad are part of German cuisine. Bauernfruerstuck is a warm German dish made from fried potatoes, eggs, ham and vegetables. Seplenai is Lithuanian national dish. They are a type of dumpling made from ripped potatoes, and usually stuffed with minced meat although sometimes dry cottage cheese, or mushrooms are used instead. In Western Europe, especially in Belgium, sliced potatoes are fried to create fryat and the original French fried potatoes. Stamppot, a traditional Dutch meal, is based on mashed potatoes mixed with vegetables. In France, the most notable potato dish is the heart cheese parmentier, named after Antoine Augustin Parmentier, a French pharmacist, nutritionist, and agronomist who, in the late 18th century, was instrumental in the acceptance of the potato as an edible crop in the country. The pâté aux pommes de terre is a regional potato dish from the central Alia and Limousin regions, in the north of Italy in particular in the Friuli region of the northeast. Potatoes serve to make a type of pasta called gnocchi, similarly cooked and mashed potatoes. Or potato flour can be used in the noddler dumpling eaten with or added to meat dishes all over Central and Eastern Europe but especially in Bavaria and Luxembourg. Potatoes form one of the main ingredients in many soups such as the Vichy soys, an Albanian potato and cabbage soup. In Western Norway Kamle is popular. A traditional Canary Islands dishes Canary and wrinkly potatoes are puppers are regarded. Tortilla de patatas and patatas bravas are near universal constituent of Spanish tapas. North America In the United States potatoes have become one of the most widely consumed crops, and thus have a variety of preparation methods and condiments. French fries, and often hash browns are commonly found in typical American fast food burger joints and cafeterias. One popular favorite involves a baked potato with cheddar cheese on top. 
and in New England smashed potatoes have great popularity. Potato flakes are popular as an instant variety of mashed potatoes, which reconstitute into mashed potatoes by adding water with butter or oil and salt to taste. A regional dish of central New York. Salt potatoes are bite-sized new potatoes boiled in water saturated with salt then served with melted butter. At more formal dinners a common practice includes taking small red potatoes slicing them and roasting them in an iron skillet. Among American Jews, the practice of eating latkes is common during the festival of Hanukkah. A traditional Akkadian dish from New Brunswick is known as poutine repayé. The Akkadian poutine is a ball of grated and mashed potatoes salted, sometimes filled with pork in the center and boiled. The result is a moist ball about the size of a baseball. It is commonly eaten with salt and pepper or brown sugar. It is believed to have originated from the German kloss prepared by early German settlers who lived among the Acadians. Poutine, by contrast, is a hearty serving of French fries, fresh cheese curds and hot gravy. Tracing its origins to Quebec in the 1950s, it has become a widespread and popular dish throughout Canada. South Asia in South Asia potato is a very popular traditional staple. In India, the most popular potato dishes are aloo ki sabzi batata vada and samosa, which is spicy mashed potato mixed with a small amount of vegetable stuffed in conical dough and deep-fried. Potatoes are also a major ingredient as fast food items such as aloo chaat, where they are deep-fried and served with chutney. In northern India aloo dum and aloo paratha are a favorite part of the diet. The first is a spicy curry of boiled potato. The second is a type of stuffed chapati, a dish called masala dosa. From South India is very notable all over India. It is a thin pancake of rice and pulse paste rolled over spicy smashed potato and eaten with sambar and chutney. Pori in South India in particular in Tamil Nadu is almost always taken with smashed potato masal. Other favorite dishes are aloo tiki and pakoda items. Vado pav is a popular vegetarian fast food dish in Mumbai and other regions in the Maharashtra in India. Aloo posto is immensely popular in East India, especially Bengal, although potatoes are not native to India. It has become a vital part of food all over the country especially North Indian food preparations. In Tamil Nadu this tuber acquired a name based on its appearance, Yura like a kajang, meaning cylindrical tuber. The aloo gorsh potato and meat curry is one of the popular dishes in South Asia especially in Pakistan. East Asia in East Asia, particularly Southeast Asia, rice is by far the predominant starch crop, with potatoes a secondary crop especially in China and Japan. However it is used in northern China, where rice is not easily grown with the popular dish being made with green pepper vinegar and thin slices of potato. In the winter, roadside sellers in northern China will also sell roasted potatoes. It is also occasionally seen in Korean and Thai cuisines. Art The potato has been an essential crop in the Andes since the pre-Columbian era. The moche culture from northern Peru made ceramics from earth, water and fire. This pottery was a sacred substance formed in significant shapes and used to represent important themes. Potatoes are represented anthropomorphically as well as naturally. During the late 19th century numerous images of potato harvesting appeared in European art, including the works of Willem Whitson and Anton Mauve. Van Gogh's 1885 painting The Potato Eaters portrays a family eating potatoes. Invented in 1949, and marketed and sold commercially by Hasbro in 1952 Mr. Potato Head is an American toy that consists of a plastic potato 
and attachable plastic parts such as ears and eyes to make a face. It was the first toy ever advertised on television. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?